Good morning, everybody. Everything new under the sun. Looking at the timeline of the return of the Lord, as I believe uh, it uh, could very well turn out, we will see. Uh, but it includes the start of the seven-year period, maybe sometime at the end of this year. I don't know. We'll see. There's uh, many others who believe similar. And um, I may uh, start redoing some uh, videos that I had done in the past. I went and started um, deleting a bunch of my videos um many of them for, for uh, many of them are from 2016 2017 2018 old videos uh and uh so uh, i should should refresh them get uh, new videos up uh about oh the 70 shepherds of uh, uh israel um a book of enoch uh, some of the uh church fathers uh, videos that i did uh, lots of interesting things 112 uh, popes all of these things uh extra biblical and biblical uh point to a soon return of our Lord Jesus Christ and um, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, a couple of things related to that one of those things is economic collapse you can see it um, on the top of my list here um, I think uh, that's uh, a big portion of this why because we know the Antichrist brings in um, a new monetary system a new world fiat currency um, known in the Bible as the mark of the beast because when you take the mark uh, you will have to pledge allegiance to uh, this Antichrist figure and uh, bow to them, worship them, and um, and if we all have our own currencies, our own um, uh, domestic currencies, the greenback, the Canadian dollar, uh, none of us will feel a need to have this uh, world currency, and so I believe a world economic collapse really triggers this. And in terms of the shutdown uh, because of the the pandemic and such, we can see how how easily that can really be done now. How easily the government can control uh, all the citizens of the earth and uh, we don't really have a lot to say about it uh, honestly uh, some protests and such but at the end of the day uh, most people go along with it because it makes enough sense to them and uh, likewise this mark of the beast will make enough sense it may be that they're desperate that they don't have food and water uh, but ultimately um, they will take it and a lot of people will take it uh, willingly um, so one of the things i want to take a look at is uh, inflation. Now, the last couple of videos, I was uh, talking about uh, inflation a lot, and uh, I just want to give you an example uh, of what uh, of what has been going on. This is the economic collapse blog, and basically, the last uh, three uh, articles. Uh, well, there's a new one out, but the last, the three prior to that, were all about inflation. This inflation is at kind of the top of the prophetic list now. Um, in terms of world events and what we're talking about and what uh, may be coming sooner than we think. Warnings of dramatic inflationary collapse just keep getting louder uh, as uh, the current uh, world economy uh, collapses. Uh, the, the world, the citizens of the world, the uh, businesses of the world have been shut down for the last two years because of the pandemic. They haven't been allowed to make any money and so they're bankrupt. And so the governments are printing a lot of money. This is causing the value of every single dollar to decrease. And uh, I connected it to the, uh, the Weimar hyperinflation event in Germany. And uh, I looked at what, it, what happened then. Look at this other one. Biden is hailed as economic success, success for causing rampant inflation. Of course, because of the pandemic, he is uh, 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 spending a lot of money, a lot, a lot. Now, Trump did it too. Um, the, these governments at this point in time, uh, they seem to feel like they have to spend a lot, a lot of money to keep people afloat because uh, they're locking everyone down. They're not letting anybody work, so they feel like they need to then pay them. But where are they, where are they getting the money? Well, it's it's a money out of thin air. They're printing it. Look at this article. Biden, sixth trillion socialist budget will cause even more inflation and even more shortages. Is there a shortage of wood? Seems to be the price is skyrocketing. Um, food, prices increasing, um, commodities increasing, price of everything. Uh, you know, note that the price of silver, what is it up like 30, 40, uh, uh, what is it uh, in, in, in the US dollars? Um, I don't know, but it's, it's, it's 30 or 40 dollars Canadian now. Um, by, by my count, over the last 10 years, it's, it's almost doubled. Um, in terms of uh, the uh, the ability I have to actually buy silver ounces, um, it's pretty much doubled. They used to be going for you know twenty five bucks, but you can't you can't get them uh, for for thirty five now. You you know they're they're forty forty two forty three dollars an ounce, and so um, the price of these things and, and it's not the value that's increasing of silver or gold or other things. It's that each of your dollars is worth less and less. 
So this inflationary thing, this is something to watch. This is what happens at the end <clears throat> of economies. When they collapse, when people lose faith in the currency, the value of every dollar decreases. That means you have to pay more dollars for the same product. Your buying power decreases, and that's exactly what's happening. So uh, economic collapse, uh, this is the next thing uh, that is on my list, really. I've uh, kind of been waiting for it, expecting it, and I, and I think it needs to come before the seven-year period. So this is one of those things I need, I think needs to uh, come into place before the uh, the Antichrist can come into power and say, look, I'm going to fix all this and bring in the mark of the beast. They're not going to say, I'm going to bring in the mark of the beast, obviously, but they're, they're going to say, I'm going to fix it, and we're going to go to a world currency, and everything's going to be awesome, right? So the, the economic collapse has to be in place, and that's uh, uh, quickly becoming reality. Now, over to Israel, uh, the 70 shepherds of Israel, which speaks of uh, the last uh, 70, well, last 70 shepherds of Israel or leaders of Israel uh, right up until the Messiah. Now, this comes out of the book of First Enoch. Uh, it's extra biblical, uh, but uh, uh, many uh, scholars suggest uh, uh, it's interesting uh, and it's, sh it's something you should be uh, aware of and paying attention to. Uh, is it going to be debunked in the next couple of days? This is interesting. So, again, I'm just looking for my slides here. Where are my slides? There we are. So, this is about, and I won't go into detail. Maybe I'll do another video. But it uh, relates to uh, the, the leaders, shepherds of Israel uh, that will be in place uh, up until the Messiah returns. This is what the prophecy uh, in Enoch, this is what it predicts. Uh, and the last happens to be Benjamin Netanyahu. There can be no more unless another one of these uh, previous prime ministers uh, repeat themselves. Now, Netanyahu has been in power uh, kind of miraculously, um, incredibly coincidentally, for the last 12 years straight. I think he's uh, in his fifth uh, prime ministership, or this next one will be his fifth. Uh, and the Israel, a lot of Israelis want to get him out. Um, but... He is now looking to be dethroned. So uh, does he get dethroned by Bennett? And that's the big question. And they think they've got it. Bennett thinks uh, he has um, the uh, uh, prime ministership in the bag. Netanyahu faces shocking, shocking ouster after Israeli opposition reaches deal to form government. So Bennett has apparently reached a deal to form government. Now, this, they need to take this to, the president, uh, to President Rivlin to validate. Uh, but look at the headline. It looks as if Netanyahu's already out. And so you can see there uh, Bennett on the left, Netanyahu on the right. <clears throat> uh, Netanyahu is still in power. Remember, Enoch says, when Netanyahu is uh, uh, kicked out, there won't be any more prime ministers. Uh, and basically, at that point, the Messiah will be there. So uh, again, it looks like uh, Netanyahu's out. It's the end of an era for Israeli politics, again, suggesting that it's all over. Uh, which is interesting uh, that they're speaking about this. This is zero hedge. End of an era for Israeli politics as well. The Prime Minister Netanyahu, the country's longest serving leader, is facing a shock ouster after the head of the small hardline party on Sunday said he would try to form a unity government with Prime Minister Netanyahu's opponents, effectively ending Bi uh, Biden's, uh, Bibi's 12 year rule. So they think they've uh, come together uh, and they're going to create a unity government. And basically, all uh, news organizations seem to be calling, calling it done for Netanyahu. And you would think so. He's been in power for a long time, and, and any other nation, I mean, he would have bump, been bumped out and someone else would have came in. But uh, coincidentally, interestingly, uh, out of nowhere, uh, unexpected things happen and Netanyahu <laughs> holds on to power. So again, uh, will the 70 shepherds of his, Israel be uh, completely debunked? It would be debunked if Bennett gets in, so it's going to be interesting. This isn't done yet. Uh, remember, uh, he has to go to Rivlin. This coalition will have one week to finalize deals and then will face a vote in the Knesset. Lapid will inform uh, President Reuben Rivlin of his ability to form a new government with his new partners on Monday. So that's today. So we're going to find out soon and over the course of the next week as the Knesset votes. Uh, but again, news organizations are calling Netanyahu done. They're, they're saying it's an end of an era. It's all over. Uh, but uh, you know what? Somehow this always uh, turns out to be uh, uh, in a situation where Netanyahu comes out winner again. So this is fascinating to watch. Watch this over the next week. Uh, again, this is one of the big things. If we are in the last days, um, then uh, and, and if Enoch, the book of Enoch is true, uh, related to this, uh, then uh, it would suggest that the return of the Messiah is very near. Now, which Messiah is that? The Antichrist 
or Jesus Christ? That's the big question. Who is the Messiah that it is uh, speaking of? Uh, because remember, the Jews aren't looking for it. Well, they're looking for the Messiah. They don't realize that Jesus Christ uh, was the Messiah come who came uh, 2,000 years ago, uh, died on a cross and rose again for their sin. They don't recognize that. So they're looking for a, a, still a Messiah. And they will recognize um, who they think is a Messiah, and it will be the Antichrist until he causes the abomination of desolation in the third temple. At that point, they will say, okay, this guy is not the Messiah. And then they will realize uh, and turn back to God uh, truly. But they're going to re recognize a false Messiah first. So this false Messiah could be the one that, uh, that Enoch uh, is speaking about. Um, and Netanyahu is the last one prior to that false messiah uh, coming into the picture. So it's it's fascinating to watch this. Uh, will Enoch uh, be debunked? Uh, we're going to see over the next week here. So uh, let's follow along. And uh, I'll leave there, guys. Uh, pay attention. The uh, Lord is returning soon. Uh, we're on uh, the biblical timeline, I believe. Uh, and uh, these things are coming uh, fast. Make sure you know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Um, because uh, it, times could get a lot worse. Um, this this timeline may not be 100% accurate, but uh, so far we're tracking with it, and we'll see uh, what comes with it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.